Eight persons lost their lives across western Jamaica on Saturday. A youth of 16 was among eight persons who lost their lives during a serious shelling incident, while at least three individuals, including a youth of 13, were left with multiple holes as dangerous individuals went on the rampage across the western parishes of St. James and Westmoreland over the weekend. The person who passed away has been identified as Campbell of Peaceview in St. James. According to police reports, at approximately 5 p.m. on Saturday, the two youths went to a shop in their community when dangerous individuals who had dangerous tools entered and opened shellings. Both of these youths were hit. They were taken to the hospital where Campbell was pronounced by the medical team and the other youth of 13 was admitted in serious condition. Based on reports, residents refused to say anything about the matter. However, something has been posted on social media and this shows a group of dangerous individuals coming out of a motor car before rushing into a building. The building has been identified as the shop where the two youths were harmed. The dangerous individuals were later seen returning to the two vehicles which sped off from the scene. In other incidents, in St. James on Saturday, a 41-year-old farmer called Coot, a 35-year-old painter called Brown, and a 33-year-old data clerk, Miss Richards of Salt Spring, lost their lives in separate incidents. The police reports that at approximately 8.30 p.m. on Saturday, Brown, who was visiting a female friend in the area known as Hopetown, was injured by a man with whom he had an altercation. It is believed that the man fathered a child with a woman with whom Mr. Brown was visiting. In another incident, residents of Bump and Scott Lane in Salt Spring reported hearing loud sounds and called the police. When they arrived, the police found Richards lying on the roadway in a pool of red substance. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced by the medical team as well. In the third incident, the police were called to Spring Gardens where Coot was found with multiple holes. In Westmoreland, Arsino Sams, 28, and Devon Mosley, 34, both of Groveland Mountain in Negril, and 59-year-old laborer Winston Williams of a grain jail address and an unidentified man were harmed by dangerous individuals on Saturday. Reports from the grain jail police are that at approximately 7.30 p.m., Williams and another man were standing outside a shop in their community when dangerous individuals drove up on a motorcycle and opened shellings hitting all of them. The individuals called the police and both men were taken to the hospital where Williams was pronounced and the other man was admitted in serious condition as well. Details of the other incidents are not available, but when they become available, we will provide you with this information. The Ocean Coral Spring Hotel has responded to what the resort has called concerns that are being expressed in mainstream and social media about its accommodation of a former United States airline employee who accused Jamaican authorities of taking her by force and treating her quite badly. Former JetBlue Airlines employee Kalina Collier was later dismissed by the airline after it emerged that she had fabricated the story. It also emerged that Collier had returned a positive result for the pandemic and was under quarantine at the resort and was under the hotel's care for two weeks. Ocean Coral Spring has mentioned that they are aware of the recent reports at the resort located at Coral Spring in Trelawney, northwestern Jamaica, but insisted that it did no wrong. The resort maintained that it did not break the rules in respect of the pandemic mandates and stipulations laid down by the Ministry of Health and wanted to ensure that the public understood that it complied with all protocols. The Ocean Coral Spring has observed and continues to observe the highest pandemic health and safety protocols, complying with international best practices and the specific protocols outlined by local authorities. In line with this possible 
policies. Once the Ministry of Health and Wellness confirmed Ms. Collier's positive test result, Ocean Coral Spring following the protocols and instructions established by the Jamaican Health Authorities for any guest who has returned a positive result, provided Ms. Collier a complimentary 14-day in-room quarantine. And the hotel staff was dedicated to protecting her well-being under the aforementioned protocols during this time period. To respect and protect the privacy of Ms. Collier, as we do with all our guests, Ocean Hotels refrain from making any public comments on the matter during the time period. We welcome the thorough explanations and clarifications on this matter from the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the Minister of Health and Wellness, and the Minister of Tourism. Comprehensively putting aside these malicious rumors, we would like to express our gratitude to the Jamaican government and our full support to the health protocols Jamaica has put in place to mitigate the issues related to the pandemic. Ocean Hotels remains committed to protecting the health and safety of all our guests and team members as we provide world-class service, accommodations and amenities commensurate with our status as one of Jamaica's leading resorts. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think about all of the matters that have been discussed in this session. What of those eight individuals who lost their lives on one day? On the day dated Saturday, March 6th, 2021. Of course, we express our condolences to the family of these eight individuals. And we also hope that those who are in the hospital will have a speedy recovery. And not only that, that when they return from the hospital, that they will be safe from harm and danger. Thanks for watching. Remember to be vigilant and have a good day and goodbye.